Hey everybody, it's Jamie here and welcome to my vlog of four days at Centre Parks Longley over the Christmas period. Uh, before we go any further, if you could show your support by liking this video and subscribing, I'd really appreciate it. Well, one of the first things to mention is that staying at Centre Parks over the Christmas period does come at a premium. And so the big question is, is it worth it? Well, that will depend on your point of view as to what you like doing over the Christmas period. But for us, it was totally worth it. One of the first things you'll notice is that centre parks really do know how to decorate their park for Christmas. This, for example, is Village Square, which, as you can see, has thousands and thousands of lights and walkways for you to enjoy. In the village square, they've added a really cool little stall where you can get hot mauled wine, hot mince pies and other treats. There's also a Christmas shop where you can buy whatever you need to decorate your lodge. There are singing reindeer and of course, a chance to visit Santa himself. This is the plaza, which really is the hub of Centre Parks Longley. And as you can see, has been decorated beautifully for Christmas as well. Here you'll find restaurants, bars, cafes, shops, supermarket, bowling, kids adventure areas, and of course, the subtropical swimming paradise. This was our first night at Las Iguanas, which was surprisingly good in terms of variety of food, quality, and not bad for value. And welcome to Christmas Eve. I'm gonna show you around Lodge 315, which is an executive one bedroom lodge in Pine area. On the terrace, you have a table and chairs and your very own barbecue. As you enter the lodge, there's a utility room directly to the right. And very handy as well, there's also a small separate toilet. And as you go into the lodge, there's a spacious dining area. By the way, the reefs on all the main doors are courtesy of Centre Parks. As you can see, the living area is a great space. And if you're lucky, you're gonna see some wildlife out on that terrace. The kitchens have pretty much everything you're gonna need for your stay. We do, however, take our own slow cooker and air fryer. Please don't judge me. We had a year where the oven didn't work very well and took about four hours to cook a lasagna. Never again. We also take our own non-stick frying pan. Look, a couple years back, I spent hours scraping egg off the bottom of one of the long leap pans, not doing that again. Cheers, Pete, happy Christmas to you. And from the kitchen, let's have a peek into that double bedroom. If this is important to you, there is a hairdryer provided. Hallelujah. Fear not, there are wardrobes either side of the bed. The beds are comfy. What I would say though is the duvet is quite heavy and crispy. If you know, you know. You're gonna be able to fit mm, four people in that shower at the same time if, if you, know, you really wanted to. And don't forget your bubble bath for that spa bathtub. Right outside your lodge is space to store two bikes. Here's me looking smug. So our first activity for Christmas Eve was the fantastic aerial adventure. If interested, you need to book this activity in advance on the website as it is very popular. The grand finale, of course, is that fantastic zip wire over the lake. Down by the lake, you also have the sports plaza. Aside from the obvious sports that you can do here, there's also the sports cafe and Rajinder Pradesh, which is the on-site Indian restaurant.
inside the sports plaza there's also a trusty Starbucks. All the activities in the sports plaza can be booked online in advance or during your stay. So this was a first for us at Centre Parks. We attended a falconry workshop and I've got to say it's one of the most up close, personal and informative workshops of its kind that I've ever attended. I highly recommend this. He's a scavenger is because he is a vulture. The most persecuted animal species across the world. There have been 70 throughout the Americas and the largest population. But this relationship isn't special between me and him. This is a special relationship purely because of these birds have this in the wild. Hey! Yeah. 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 <laughs> and of course, Christmas Eve wouldn't be complete without catching Santa on his village tour. Merry Christmas, everyone! <laughs> And then back to the plaza for us as we chose to eat at Centre Park's very own Huck's American Diner. Much like Las Iguanas, we were pleasantly surprised by the quality of the food here. And I have to say the chicken fajitas were absolutely spot on. Park Market is Centre Park's very own on-site supermarket and I've got to say it really does have everything you could possibly need. It's a little bit pricier than what we are used to, however I think it's well worth a visit. And this is also where you're going to get logs for your log fire. You can buy three for a tenner or one for £4.25. They're super easy to light, you just literally light the paper at both ends and your work here is done. They last about two hours and they're also smokeless. Yay, it's the big day. Happy Christmas, everybody. And yes, home from home, we literally packed that car full of prezzies. So yeah, I put carrots outside the night before and the reindeer certainly don't look the same as I remember. And a really nice touch here from Centre Parks, you get a card and also a gift, on this occasion a frame. Happy days, thank you. Whilst not all activities are available on Christmas Day, understandably so, one that is available is the Subtropical Swimming Paradise. Fantastic. So, follow me for a tour of the pool, the lagoon, the lazy river, the slides and the all-famous rapids.
this one's a bit slower. Or is it? What the dark, huh? The outdoor area has its own lagoon, hot tubs, and of course, the rapids, which are probably the most fun I've had in a long time. And here we go, here are the rapids. own personal cabana for your time at the pool. Now I wasn't allowed to film on this beast of a slide but it's absolutely a must do. The main pool also has intermittent waves, although a little bit tame. By night, the whole experience is completely unique, so you have to come back again. Though so Christmas Day, we followed our swim by a quick pit stop for some cocktails. Then it was back to a lodge for what I can only describe as a, a, a bad 70s party, followed by a very handsome homemade roast. Of course, the only thing left to do is to light that fire, get a drink and curl up on the couch. And what better way to blow off those Christmas Day cobwebs with a little bit of cycling. First job was to head down to the lake and grab breakfast at Starbucks. We then headed for our three hour slot at Aquasana Spa. This is newly refurbed and I've got to say it's an absolutely fantastic space. Now we paid £58 per person to use the spa and some people online have said that it's extortionate. I've got to be honest with you, we found it excellent value and we wouldn't hesitate to come back here again. Highly recommend it. It's a completely unique experience. to avoid the crowds at Aquasana, I definitely recommend going either on your first or last day or booking for an early or late slot. Next up on Boxing Day, a little bit more cycling before heading for lunch. Shockingly, in all the times we've been to Longleat, we have never been to the Pancake House, so today we decided to put that right.
so you'll notice that items on the menu are limited pretty much to waffles, pancakes and omelettes. But let me tell you, they are superb and I can't believe we've taken so long to come here. You must go. And back to the plaza, just to show you some of the offerings on offer, offerings on offer. Basically, more shops. And finishing off the afternoon at the Leisure Bowl for a little bit of bowling and maybe a cocktail or two. Oh yes, cheers! And we can't come to Santa Park without having at least one delivery, one takeout. On this occasion, we had the Chinese and it was excellent. to round off Boxing Day, obviously a little bit of relaxation in your own bathtub. So all good things must come to an end and we finished our experience with breakfast at Cafe Rouge and I've got to say it was actually very tasty and good value. So that's it folks, four days at Centre Parks Longley over the Christmas period. So what do you think? I'd love to hear from you. Drop your comments below. Is this something you could see yourself doing in the future? Is it something you've already done and would like to do again? Equally, if you have any questions, please let me know and I'll get back to you. Otherwise, thanks for watching and don't forget to follow Travel Blog Jamie on Twitter, Instagram and YouTube.